Callejón, cuando Real hay por su pala. Uno, tú, enseña a llegar para la lata. But I was always dismissed because I was too short. Fantastic! Insignia to put Napoli in front. But I was always dismissed because I was too short. What's happening, boys, and welcome to the end of era 96 rated Lorenzo Insigne, aka the mad lad from Frata Maggiore, has over 335 caps for Napoli, has scored, I believe, close to 100 goals, and we get ourselves a roughly 200,000 coin 96 Lorenzo Insigne, high medium work rates, the 5 4, the 5 star skill moves, the 4 star weak foot with the finesse shot, the outside the foot shot, and the flare trait. Uh, and one of our favorite players of all time, he is coming to the MLS, uh, and EA have honored him in a way that they kind of did Di Maria a little bit dirty, right? I mean, why give Lorenzo Insigne the extra five-star skill moves? Uh, just give uh, Di Maria the four-star weak foot, right? If you're going to give him the... If Di Maria already had the five-star skill moves, give him that little uh, four-star weak foot upgrade. I don't know why they didn't give it to him, but alas, here we are. I'm almost hoping for EA to put out a tweet saying we made a mistake with the Di Maria, uh, but they seemingly have not made a mistake with this Lorenzo Insigne, a card that at the beginning of every FIFA cycle is usually one of those guys uh, that's pretty damn meta and uh, helps you, especially in a Serie A squad, and isn't too expensive to get into, uh, into squad. So, Napoli are absolute one of our favorite clubs in the Serie A. Uh, obviously, I'm a Roma supporter. I love myself a cheeky, uh, love myself a uh, cheeky Venezia. But Napoli is just one of those clubs that you see the you see the Napoli crest, and it's just a little bit emotional. So, if you guys are a Napoli supporter, smash like on Episodia. If you've a fanculo statuta cazzat, smash like on Epi. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. So, uh, let's just dive right into it. 5-4, love that. 1991 is a pretty good birth year for a card. Five star skill moves, four star weak foot, and then we go look at the stats. 99 acceleration with 96 sprint speed, 95 attack and positioning, finishing gets jacked off maximally, shot power pretty much maximally, long shots 99. Passing stats, literally Iniesta-esque. I don't even know if there's a card in the game. I mean, there's a few that have like 97, 98 passing, but this looks absolutely ridiculous. The dribbling stats, 97, 99 balance with the 99 ball control, 99 dribbling. I'm expecting this card to feel probably one of, as one of the silkiest cards in the game. If we consider that Maxi Morales, who went for about 30k, has kind of a similar kind of build, um... I'm expecting him to feel very much like Maxi Morales in terms of, uh, obviously in terms of height, but Lorenzo Insigne is just his own guy. Uh, in terms of body type, I'm pretty sure Lorenzo Insigne, and I made the mistake on the Barardi, so I'm never going to make that mistake ever again. He's got the unique body type, right? Only 31 years old coming to MLS, which is kind of interesting. Would have thought maybe he'd stay in the Serie A or maybe make the, uh, you know, maybe make a jump to La Liga or something like that. Uh, but uh, the Italian boys usually like staying in Serie A, so he's just, uh, I think he's going to either Toronto or Montreal. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, Alas, we get ourselves a Lorenzo Insigne. Now, when you do an end of era Lorenzo Insigne, you do a full Napoli squad, and that's exactly what we've done here. We've got Manolis with the whopping uh, 25 finishing on his 83 rated base goal card. We've got ourselves that Kula Daddy, the Desiglio. Uh, we've got ourselves the Chucky Lozano, and then this Victor Osiben, aka Ocean Man, who we didn't do an Epi on a few days ago, and now we're getting a chance to use him. 96 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. I mean, look at the stats. I think also has the unique body type, if I, uh, if I am not mistaken, and if I am... I'm about to find out right now. 92. He has got himself the high and average. Sorry, good thing I checked. But he looks like a really good card as well. So we're going to test them out. Uh, this, uh, Insigne is going to be left striker. Ojimin is going to be right striker. And we're going to have Chucky Lozano as our uh, as our cam. Not a lot of people will play him as a cam. Uh, but that is exactly where we're going to test him out as. So uh, match number one with the glitch Insigne. Match number one with the Napoli Mad Lads. Vafanculo. He is absolutely broken. Can't confirm he's absolutely cracked. Left analog stick dribbling. You don't even need the five star. Oh, can we look up his pants? We're not gonna, but uh, five star skill moves. Leave it to ultimate tots for us to get the best Serie A uh, team of the season card, right? I mean, some of the team of the season cards for Serie A, obviously a little bit, you know, kind of fun. But the fact that, uh, there, there we go. Lovely pass there. Lorenzo Insigne. <laughs> he's a dude. He's so tiny, he just literally wiggles through players' legs. Oh, can we look up his pants? Now, the issue some Serie A Yam boys might have is the fact that you probably have the Parasic, but I think this is an upgrade. It's a different kind of card, obviously, right? Because Parasic has himself the, uh, Par Parasic has the defending stats. Caprari, obviously a little bit more comparable to this, uh, to this Insigne, but if you have either one of those cards, I feel like you still make the upgrade, no? Ocean Man 
Ryan's not gonna miss as well. Yo, the Napoli boys are kind of heating up. Bro, Insigne, we gotta have that. Dude, the left analog stick dribbling from Insigne is uh, is is definitely something to behold. My word, bro. Did you see how he wiggled past those? What to say? Bro, Ospina's actually putting in a pretty good shift, to be fair. Ospina's actually putting in a pretty good shift, to be fair. Come on, Insigne! Sergio Ramos, you take your nuts out! Sergio Ramos, you take your tapas nuts out, man! Let's go! Oh my dear God, Insigne, we have to have that, my G. You've got literally 99 finishing. Bro, what are we doing, man? Man's running alone to Thomas in freaking June, bro. Oh, he's time wasting. He's time wasting. It was a well fought match. Oh god, that's so degen. This is a five star skill. Look at look at Insigne. Look at the burst. Ready? Everyone do five star skill moves with Lorenzo Insigne. Watch this. I don't know what this skill move is called, but it's gonna absolutely destroy this guy. Got him. Right. Is that a pen? Era penal. That's a pen. Wait, that, that's 100% a pen, right? That's 100% a pen. You want to know what? We're going to give it to Ocean Man. We're going to go this way, school of pens, which means that you take control of your player. For those that you guys don't know, think about it for a little bit. Have him wonder what he's doing. And then because you took so much time and that you're switching, he thinks you're going to go left or right because you've overthought it. And then he's going to go right. Ocean Man. I know Lorenzo and Sinia. Bro, Lorenzo, my G. First is... Nesha? Oh! Lorenzo Insigne with the fin- Bro, his dribbling and his finesse- His dribbling and finesse is literally- His- 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 God. Whenever I use a Lorenzo Insigne card, it just makes me remember of my time in Italy. I went to Italy in 2016, and I had one of the most memorable meals of my life in Rome. I was by myself. I was on this like little cute little like alley, this little like little alley with these little lights. I had a cacio e pepe, an, an authentic Roman cacio e pepe, and a glass coke, bro. It was probably the greatest night of my life in terms of eating food. Costas Manlas, Costas Manlas, putting. Wait, look at look at the look at the Lorenzo Insigne pass. That's Costas Manlas against 91 Mbappe. It cost us money last, bro. I like the aggression. Yo, Ojim. What is that? Oh my god. Oh my god, no. Just an absolute trash FIFA goal, bro. I'm so sorry, whoever this is. He's, a, he's an auto-dribbler. This man is an auto-dribbler. Lorenzo Insigne can get by any opponent in the game. It doesn't matter what rating. Look at the skill moves. Yeah, he just... He, he, look at him. He just wiggles around. He, like, yeah, this guy's getting pissed off. He's literally having to slide tackle me. There's something about Lorenzo Insigne, a.k.a. Glitch Insigne, left analog stick dribbling with the max pretty much 99... With the max pretty much 99 dribbling that just, uh... Just slaps a little bit different, and we literally just caused this guy to rage. What is this? All right, what are we coming up against in match number three? Okay, cool. Great. Love this. Ospina, my guy. <laughs> He's 
He's a glitch. Yeah, he's a glitch. Lorenzo Insigne is a glitch, boys. Ocean Man! Ocean Man coming in with the set with goal number two. Get out of here, bro. 45th minute, you're not going to last an entire game. I'm running a full Napoli squad. You think you have passion? You're doing these little celebrations with Ronaldo checking his little Rolex, bro. I don't care. You want to know what time it is? It's time for you to get out of this game. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Uh, use that. If you can use that skill move, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called the, uh, I don't know, smack D something? I don't know. Uh, we're going to go this way, School of Pens. There's no way that a keeper is going to be able to guess that I'm going to stay middle this, for the second for the second. Got time no <laughs> shot. Uh, Zway School of Pens, we go ahead and we make it 4-2. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do, obviously, an emotional dead fish with, with Lorenzo and Insigne. This card is mad. He's not two, He's not 300,000 coins. He's not 250,000 coins. He's about like 175, 180,000 coins. Got the five-star skill moves. Has like everything that you would want on a card outside of maybe height if that's what you're looking for. But this is just, you know, it's just a fun Lorenzo Insigne and the last special Insigne card that we're ever going to get at Napoli, man. That was the single greatest defense. That might be the single greatest defensive play that I think I've seen any player ever... Yeah, he's done. Donezo. <laughs> oh my god, he's so cracked. It's one of those cards where if you're just trying to have a little bit of fun during the summer, if you're, you you run a Serie A squad, this is your end game left winger. Uh, and, you know, like I said, man, if you're just trying to have a little bit of fun in the summer of 2022, you can't go wrong with this guy. I think 175,000 coins. I think you can't beat the value in terms of what the prices are of some of these other Tots cards. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say four to five in terms of value. Again, compare him to some of the other options in Serie A. It's pretty much Perisic. It's pretty much that uh, the Caprari card. Uh, and then this Insigne. And I would make an argument to say that probably I would rank this Insigne number one in terms of attacking, then the Parasitch, then the Caprari, uh, but uh, a very, very fun uh, glitch, uh, end of era glitch senior card to use. In terms of on the pitch performance, I am also going to give him a four out of five. As a matter of fact, I'm going to bump that up to four and a half out of five. There's a differentiator with the unique body type. It's the 98 dribbling. He feels different than any other card. You know what? You know what Insigne feels like? Insigne feels like what Messi should feel like in game. He's literally the Italian Messi, uh, and they gave him the five star skill moves. It's pretty much a no nonsense SPC. You get all the traits that you could want, you get all the dribbling stats you could want, and he feels ridiculous on the ball. But that's going to do it for the Epi Boys. If you guys did enjoy, smash like. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know if you guys have used him, what you think about the card. Uh, and uh, yeah, man, maybe another. Uh, if we could end of eras every day throughout the duration of Ultimate Tots, I would say it would be a dub promo. But um, yeah, man, good luck with your Foot Champs games. Going to be streaming 10 games of Weekend League tonight on the RTG Twitch channel. Link will be in the description below. But uh, I, like I always say, man, I hope you guys did enjoy. We'll catch you guys for another one tomorrow. Till next time, bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.